The nine defense advisors and attaches would be deployed to Ghana's missions in the United Nations headquarters in New York, Washington, D.C., in the United States of America, New Delhi in India, London in Britain, Addis Ababa in Ethiopia, Cairo in Egypt, Beijing in China, and Abidjan in Cote d'Ivoire. The week-long seminar would have the attaches go through topics like dynamics of the international socio-political and economic system, foreign service regulations, diplomatic practices, protocol and comportment at post, diplomatic life abroad, and many others that will make their duties in their various missions a success. A lecturer at the Legon Center for International Affairs and Diplomacy, Dr. Vladimir Enchidanso, delivered the maiden lecture on the topic, Dynamics of the International Sociopolitical and Economic System. Can you imagine morale having sunk after the uprising? So war is one of those things you people do best. It's a kind of side of, it's a kind of, uh, it's a kind of uh, swaggering, you know, uh, to threat. When, when Khrushchev went to the UN and removed his shoe to bang the podium and won uh, uh, John F. Kennedy that if he doesn't take care, he will send this and that to incinerate New York, uh, Washington within five minutes. He had only five warheads. And, uh, and uh, JFK felt that they had more than 150. He had only five. The Chief of Staff of the Ghana Armed Forces, Brigadier General B.J. Sagbu, in his address said, It has been an accepted practice in international military diplomacy all over the world for military establishments to deploy small attaches and detachments of service personnel in countries that they have strong bilateral relations with. He emphasized that the selection of officers as defense attaches has always been done with extreme caution and diligence. Defense advisors attaches, you are the advocates of Ghana's military and security interests and advisors to the ambassadors and staff of the various embassies missions you have been accredited to. Much will therefore be expected of you outside the scope of your rules and responsibilities. The CDS's expectations are very high, but obviously within your reach. You are the best the Ghana Armed Forces can offer the international community. Your professionalism and above all, ability to combine military tact and diplomacy without compromising key principles are paramount. Simply put, you mirror the Ghana Armed Forces by extension to the whole country. During the seminar, you'll be taken through various key issues, including but not limited to foreign service regulations, diplomatic practices, Protocol and comportment at push. Diplomatic life abroad and the role of the spouse, just to mention only by the few.